Check this out. Ain't it crazy how life's starting to kind of look like how we saw movies, all futuristic. And a lot of people ain't believe that that stuff was going to come to fruition. But they were just prepping us up for that anyway. Because now they got drones as police officers. And not only can they follow you and see you and know where you at, they can read your body temperature. They can tell if you got a fever. Let me tell y'all something. Pretty soon, we're going to have to pay for our own privacy. They get it. Hey, this is what Papa Doug, y'all already know, my nigga. Shife on the beat, y'all already motherfucking know what it is. Hey, flex, not bullshit. COVID-19 drones could soon be monitoring your health from above, monitoring everything from social distancing to your heart rate. But what about your privacy? Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kraut gives us an exclusive look at technology now being put to use in a local community. As communities look to try to safely reopen society, one local police department is using new technology to make that happen. And all you have to do is look up to find it. It's called a pandemic drone, and you'll find it hovering above popular places in Westport, Connecticut. As you can see outside this grocery store, it can measure whether people are social distancing. The circles determine if they're six feet apart. Green's good, red's bad. There shouldn't be a police chief or anybody who's sitting in my seat right now with everything that's going on, not looking for a way to do things differently. The police chief's taking part in a three-month pilot program. They're using the technology now to make sure people are keeping their distance. If you're scanning an area and you're seeing that a problem exists, that might be an area that you want to put more of your resources at. The drones are also equipped with technology that can help determine everything from breathing to heart rate to coughing, even fever. It changes color. I'm absolutely very sensitive to privacy issues. Canadian-based company behind the technology says it isn't designed to identify people. It's designed to identify patterns. The system is designed to basically provide health monitoring data uh, and be able to make uh, give us better data to make more clear decisions decisions in the town of westport that has experienced a spread of the virus in a county that has more than 40 percent of positive cases in the state one of a handful of pandemic drones being launched across the country technology but, there but there's there's a lot of variables with that too this is where this data has to prove itself before we move to the next step they'll be testing out this new technology over the next three months before deciding whether or not to keep it this is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I recommend everybody share this show with their friends, with their family, with people they know. I know I say that often. There are things that are very important to share. This is one of them. This is absolutely frightening in a sense, but something that people need to fight back against. And this is right, again, out of the 1984 playbook, Big Brother. And this can only be done, of course, with the help of 5G technology, but Connecticut cops are testing the pandemic drone, get this, to monitor people's temperatures, detect sneezing and coughing, and amongst other things which I will read to you. So in other words, these drones which are going to be flown, normally operated, and in some countries they're showing it as if they're operated by the military, holding you know little toy uh, control panels like they're five years old flying around little airplanes in their backyard. 5G technology, like we've learned and heard even from lowlifes like Dr. Bill Nye, the science guy. 5G might one day give us driverless cars or drones that control their own drones or something. That 5G technology would allow for these drones to fly independently on their own, without control, without somebody there literally doing it. They're following people around the streets in certain countries, now coming to America, now coming to Connecticut, Westport, Connecticut, testing the pandemic drone, which can monitor and detect people with infectious respiratory conditions in public areas amid the pandemic. The drone is said to, get a little of this, the drone is said to monitor people's temperatures, temperatures from 190 feet away and has the ability to detect sneezing, coughing, and heart and breathing rates using sensors and computer vision. Just what we all need, right? They're telling us this is in our best interest. Oh, because if somebody sneezes, let's throw them in a let's throw them in jail. Let's quarantine them for sneezing, for coughing. And they're not even mentioning the social distancing aspect of it. Now I can tell you what I would do, or what I would hope that people would do, if they saw one of these things in the street. Mama don't like tattletales. 
wearing sunglasses. And who are you, little fella? Come to show him where I am. Not nice. Unfortunately, you can't rely on people to do that and know that probably will get you 50 years behind bars, even though what right has, has citizens given our government to allow them to do this? I've said it a million times, and that's why I go nuts over There's truthers who fly their drones around. They talk about all this stuff with privacy and, and technology and the mark coming, and then they're flying drones around like they're five years old, who, you know, not realizing the dangers of the drone. The drone is going to take away all your privacy uh, anything regarding privacy outside of your home because we've already given them the privacy inside our homes with the echo, with the television, with the laptop, with the cell phones, constant recording, constant monitoring, constant watching. If you have CCTV cameras or any type of camera in your home that you think is there for security, yeah, it's there for security, all right? The government's security against you to watch what your behavior is. Step foot outside, well, that's what the ring will follow you around. Get away from the ring and outside the zone. Don't worry. There'll be a drone flying above head, right? Filming your every move. Unbelievable. So the drone can monitor people's temperatures from 190 feet away. Detect sneezing, coughing, like I said. So, uh, boy, go outside and cough. Watch what happens. It's going to fly up to you and literally ask you what you're doing while you're outside and probably call the police on you to physically arrest you and put you in one of these empty prison cells. Because they're letting all the prisoners out, right? So that they can put people like us in there or people who they believe need to be quarantined in. And eventually the people who refuse to take the shot when it comes out, that's where you'll end up. Police are working with Canadian drone company Dragonfly, who first revealed in late March that they were working with the University of South Australia to develop the pandemic drone. I can't believe I'm reading this. They're using the technology as part of a flatten the curve pilot program which hopes to provide better health monitoring support for potential at-risk groups. It marks the first in a series of test flights near New York City and areas close to New York, which are considered hot spots to identify social distancing and detect symptoms presented by the virus. So you can even see in some of these pictures that the drone is literally checking the distance, you know, because it's just right ahead of Terminator, the distance apart that people are. Right, as the ability to monitor and detect people, not just with these respiratory issues, not just sneezing and coughing, but making sure that they're six feet apart at all times, or you're going to be confronted by the freaking thing. It will not be used, they say, for individual private yards and does not use face, facial recognition, I'm sure. That's, of course, what they tell you. And they won't use individualized data or identify people. And don't forget, they're already tracking you with your phone. Google has already come out and admitted it. I did a video on it. I recommend you check it out if you haven't. They're literally tracking you to make sure that you're following social distancing requirements. They're claiming they're doing it so that they can give the data to the government. And the government can come back and put in more restrictions and say, look, nobody's following what we're saying. That's why it's spreading. We need to put take more rights away from people because people are making other people sick and people aren't following the requirements, thus they're being bad and they need to be punished. So they said that the company initially expected the equipment to be ready in six months, but the Westport police in Connecticut are already testing it out. The system could be used to identify people uh, in crowds, offices, airports, cruise ships, aged care homes, and other places where groups of people may work or congregate. Researchers involved say the drone demonstrated the heart rate and breathing rate can be measured with high accuracy within 16 to 32 feet of people using drones and distances up to 190 feet with fixed cameras. It uses special algorithms to spot someone sneezing and coughing. Unbelievable. How do we allow our government to do this? Can somebody tell me that? If this thing flies over your house, don't you have every right to shoot it down? Isn't that your property, your space? Oh, no, it's the airspace, right? It belongs to them. That's why they can dump chemtrails on us. The UNISA team led by a defense chair of senior systems professor, I mean, blah, blah, these titles on these people. They say it might not detect all cases, but it could be a reliable tool to detect the presence of the disease in a place or in a group of people. <laughs> right? So they're telling you that this is good for you. I'm sure they'll pass a law saying that this, this should be allowed Everywhere, police should be allowed to use it. The military should be allowed to use it because the citizens can't be trusted because they're not following orders. 
So one of the major problems for cities and towns like Westport in managing and responding to the pandemic is finding out who could be infected and how widespread the disease is spread. So they don't even know, they're telling us they don't even know how to detect who has it and who doesn't have it. They're coming out with story after story deflecting day in and day out. But if you sneeze out in public, it's going to give them a good idea that maybe have you quarantined or tested. I mean, God forbid you get the sniffles over something or you have allergies, you know, or you catch wind of something that tickles your nostril and you sneeze. Or how about you just swallow something the wrong way and cough? Oh, you've got it. Unbelievable. Connecticut is considered the epicenter in the state for the spread, uh, excuse me, Fairfield County of the virus. And Westport was the first town to report the most cases and infections to date. There's more than 20,000. Yeah, right. Confirmed cases, Fairfield County and adjacent to New York, which has the most confirmed. Now you could just see the creepy technology from the dragonfly drone here. And they say the West, the Westport police department is one of the most progressive public safety agencies in the nation, <laughs> please. And real pioneers when it comes to adopting and integrating new tech to enhance the safety of their citizens. This pandemic has opened a new frontier for advanced drones in conjunction with our partners, including the town of Westport. Together, we are the first in the U.S. to implement the state-of-the-art technology to analyze data in a way that has been peer-reviewed and clinically researched to save lives. Boy. Police claim it'll also allow for quicker reaction time to potential health threats. It'll give a greater... St- so this is, this is also, you know, the video, if you haven't seen the one I put up late last night talking about how they're calling on citizens to rat on one another as a way, and you'll get a reward. Rat on somebody who's coughing and sneezing. Rat on somebody who isn't following social distancing. Rat on somebody who is a small business owner who's open and isn't deemed essential so they can come arrest them and shut it down or just come give them a slap a $20,000 fine on or whatever they want. They're saying using drones remains a go-to technology, and and that didn't work. I mean, it's not going to work. So this is another way of doing it, Right. If people aren't going to rat each other out, well, they'll just fly these things and the things will just record you and they'll say, look, we have evidence here. You're not six feet apart. You're five and a half feet. (laughs) All right. Here's your fine. It's a joke. And the citizens allow this to happen. That's why I say share this. Are people really going to allow the government to do this? This is just total spying. This is the total. This is I mean, this is just an excuse. right? Well, We're doing it for the safety of the citizens. So we're going to spy on you. And follow you around with a drone like we're in Terminator here in 19 or 1984, or they live. And we're going to follow you around, but it's for the best interest of everyone else because you're not following orders. Screw that. The people need to fight back against this stuff. This is going to spread too. This is going to be spreading around the country. They're going to pass bills and laws that allow them, even when this passes temporarily and comes back, so that the government can use this. Remember, I, you know, I talked about the event in Colorado. I don't know if anyone remembers it, but there was a lot of drones being found flying up in the sky, doing testing with drones in the night hours. People were seeing all these blinking lights and drones flying around. I wonder if that was a test for. So drones are becoming very helpful during the pandemic as many countries are using the tech to monitor people who are not obeying. The, tr- the police force in San Diego has invested... Uh, drones that cost 11000 each and plan to fit devices with speakers and night vision cameras after last week the governor ordered residents to stay home to prevent further outbreaks. So this is where we are in the world, folks. Hey, this is what Papa Doug, y'all already know, my nigga. Shape on the beat, y'all already motherfucking know what it is. Hey, flex, not bullshit.